Hello everyone and a warm welcome to my series of tips and strategies videos. I am Jackson Abnes, your IELTS PT coach, yet again with some vital steps and strategies that will enable you to get your desired scores that you need. Let's start off our journey, but before I do that, please ensure that you watch the video till the end to get a quick recap and also to understand the strategies for your scores. Today, I am going to begin my video with the first question type, the first module on the PT examination, which is the speaking module. And the first question item that we will work together in this video will be read aloud. Before we start off, let's try to understand the parameters on which you will be scored. There are three major things that you need to make sure that you are good at. The three pointers as such on which you can get your scores. Fluency, five points. Pronunciation, five points. The last parameter is content, which varies anywhere between three to five points, depending upon the question item asked in the speaking module. Let's take an example of the question item for today and then help you to understand the scoring pattern. So for read aloud, your people can avail for 15 points on a whole, which includes five points each for fluency, pronunciation, and of course, your content. Now, if the content is a little too small, then definitely the five points can be reduced to anywhere between three to five then the scores can range between 13 to 15 points, but majority of the time, it is somewhere around 15 only. You can expect at least six to seven paragraphs coming your way for the read aloud question item. Every stage, the parameter will be increased. That means the level of difficulty increases. As the level of difficulty increases, so is the scoring pattern for the content increase or decrease accordingly. As in, if the content is big enough with simple words, you can get anywhere of the content points. But as you increase with the difficulty level, the content also gets a little difficulty that you can record your voice with. Ideally, the content should begin with anywhere a word count of 70 to 80 words. You need to complete recording in 40 seconds time. But a good thing, you get 25 to 30 seconds time to get yourself familiar with the content. And this is one of the most important steps that you have to perform. Remember, in this 25 to 30 seconds time, you do not just need to read word by word, rather skim the entire text from left to right. The word that you feel is unfamiliar to you, try to break it into two parts and try to rehearse if you are able to pronounce it. Be acquainted with the text. Look at the punctuations, full stop, commas. Those are the places that you need to take breaks. Look at conjunctions. If the sentence is quite big, conjunctions will play an important role to break your breath in between. That means a quick pause and accordingly you can move ahead with. These are things that you have to identify while you are doing your preparation in 25 to 30 seconds. Once that time is over, you will listen to a very small beep sound. Please pay attention to it. Do not start immediately or before the beep sounds because whatever you start will not be recorded. Let the beep sound get completed and after that start recording your voice. Start with the first word that is visible on the screen. Do not use any kind of dead as any kind of sound fillers or anything on your own that will add on to the content and bring your scores down for the content. 
make sure that you speak whatever is there on your screen and nothing of your own. This is what read aloud is all about. Try to complete the task maximum in 38 or anywhere between 36 to 38 seconds. At least give yourself two seconds time that you can quickly click on the next button and go to the next screen rather than saying it or recording it till the 40th second. Please remember that. You will see on your screen the progress bar coming to an end. That way you can manage your pace of speaking. Now let's talk a little bit about the fluency and pronunciation because these are two vital scoring points that will help you to improvise your scores in the speaking module. For read aloud, in fluency, in order for you to get five full points, remember these few things. Firstly, avoid any kind of an hesitations to begin or anything fumbling taking place between while you are recording. Avoid repetitions or correcting yourself. Even if you have said something wrong, just proceed. Maintain a rate of speed. Do not get too slow. Do not speak too fast. Speak nicely at a moderate rate of speed. No need of using any accents. Remember that. Punctuation. Sorry. The pronunciation part where punctuation plays a vital role. As I said to you, wherever you see the punctuations, those are your intervals that you have to take. A quick break and then move to the next sentence. Do not try to be monotone. Try to have a pitch in your voice. And this is one of the key tips for you people. Make sure that when you begin your sentence, you start a little higher pitch, but as you come down to the sentence end, you lower down your voice. Once again, when the new sentence begins, you start with a little enthusiastic and then as you come down towards the sentence closure, you bring your voice down, making sure each and every word is legible to you or recorded nicely. Intonations play a vital role for you to get full five points. Make sure that each and every word is pronounced correctly till the last letter, especially the past verb forms like catched matched, watched, and singular or plural. Citizens, the plural S sound must be there, especially with these two things. Be extremely careful that you pronounce the last letter also. These are a few things that you have to remember, especially for fluency and pronunciation. The sounds of the word must match with the sounds of the standard format of English language. So this is what the basic criteria is. As long as you are producing the same sounds and as long as you are speaking naturally, slowly, with an appropriate pauses, you will get your full 10 points for fluency and pronunciation. The remaining five points will come from the content. Do not add on anything of your own. Especially, we Indians are very popular to add on the article the. Do not do that. Whatever is there on the screen, just say those things only. Do not eliminate anything from the text provided. Make sure that you follow those things carefully. Remember, for the speak aloud, speaking module, for the read aloud, the scores are going to be shared between reading as well as speaking. Maximum scores will be for the module that you are working for, that question item and the remaining scores will be shared with the other module. We cannot show you or cannot predict exactly what's the percentage ratio, but maximum of the scores will be for the speaking and the remaining part will be for the reading module. So in turn, this is an integrated task that will help you to boost your scores for your reading module also. Please continue your practice. Make sure that you understand this question item carefully. Do not need to be in a panic situation and fasten up. Its amount of time provided is sufficient for you to practice, rehearse to yourself, and then move to the next question item. Make sure that you click on the next button quickly as soon as you finish, rather than waiting for the computer to go to the next screen. Because in case, even after you pause down and there is some 
break after which the computer goes to the next screen in that break time the computer might catch up any environmental words that are floating up and that might be marked against you in your scoring part okay so please be careful make sure that you read the instruction carefully avoid any hesitations or any sound fillers take appropriate pauses rehearse to yourself important or unfamiliar words once you start off go slowly take appropriate breaks on punctuations or on conjunctions and complete the task do not add on any of your new words with the help of this you will be able to get your full scoring for the read aloud topic so here we are once again with one of the question item of read aloud please make sure that you practice you prepare yourself and then sufficiently you will perform in your examination i will come back with some other video with some insights for the next question item till then thank you for watching my video till the end happy learning